Hey everybody, I'm Donald with Top of Automotive and this video is my new hobby. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube. Uh, sorry guys, uh, I've been gone a little bit off YouTube but I've been having camera issues. I tried a different camera I thought would be better and it didn't. I know I'm shooting in a different location in my house for my uh, RC hobby that I started into. I wanted to be inside the AC and have a cool place to work on stuff. The blank wall back here is going to get filled up. Uh, I'm going to do something with this white tabletop, so we're going to pop in some color. Uh, so bear with me. My new hobby, RC, remote controlled uh, 4x4 trucks, to be more specific. Uh, I needed uh, just some tools to get right off. So uh, bear with me. Let me get the uh, camera turned around and just kind of kind of go through this quickly. I've done this uh, video countless of times. First take, second take, hey, it's just like Hollywood. So stay tuned. Alrighty. Uh, I needed to definitely pick up some RC hobby uh, tools that I didn't have. Uh, these are like uh, 1.5 millimeters on this particular truck that I got. 2 millimeter, uh, 2.5 millimeter, and that's where I got the RC truck. I got kind of recommended this little tool kit here. Uh, dynamite, nice kind of looking case, it's a little flare, but this 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 POS right here. Don't even bother. The fitment's bad. The tool itself, the least bit of torque, it wants to strip out on you. It's just bad, bad. Don't, don't get this. Go to Amazon, give it a bad review. Uh, but it's just junk. Capital J U N K, junk, dynamite. Ain't worth it. Don't get it make your own get a different brand whatever and these are not you know these are not cheap but it's junk I just went on his recommendation uh, gonna go down there and let him know do yourself a favor and pull these off a of shelf don't sell these even to, be to beginners you know I'm kinda getting new back into this hobby don't sell this junk if it's junk don't sell it you know, letting you know right now. Don't sell this to a new guy getting in there because the tools that come with the truck doesn't they don't give you everything. So just make your own, find out the sizes you need and and go with it. But this is trash. So I picked me up a toolbox and started uh, doing my tools. Keep some battery for the remote control. It's mostly for the empty right now, but I got uh, I got I got a tool kit going on here, tool little toolbox going on here. So uh, just some basic stuff. This is uh, an important one right here. Get yourself a long Allen heads, a couple long ones. Uh, not have to be quite this long. Get them at least uh, five inches. This one's nine overall length, but uh, get yourself a good T-handle, small, as I said, whatever size, screws, Allen heads you're going to need, get yourself a good set of these, uh, maybe the ratchet ones and all that other good stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go through this whole thing, I'm just going to, you know, brush the cleaning zip ties quarter inch 
Automotive tools, small stuff will definitely work. Uh, a good a good Leatherman to throw in here, or you know, a multi tool doesn't have to be a Leatherman. Uh, like I said, whoops, here went my light. Technical problems for me in these in my new adventure here. Uh, hang loose. Hang loose. I lost my light. I will be putting some new lighting above to fix this problem. Ah, I don't know where it was. Up here. I don't know why come that didn't stay, but alright, there we go. But in general, uh, just get your make your own toolkit. I did pick up some tools that fits in my electric screw gun. I've got to have one of those, right? Uh, it's charging over there. And you know, Velcro towels. I've got a soldering iron picks. Just one of these quarter inch screwdrivers, but just uh, don't get this junk. Terrible, absolutely terrible. All right, so just uh, starting out, make yourself get yourself a toolkit and. Uh, these uh, smaller sizes, they're, they're not cheap. They're not cheap, for sure. So get yourself a, a good set. And stainless steel screws. Uh, invest in a stainless steel screw set for whatever RC uh, vehicle you may have. It will definitely be a lifesaver. I uh, have that on my wish list pretty soon. Alrighty, let me get on to the what I got. Alright guys, let me move through this video quite quickly. I don't know if I'm going to actually film out here. This is a lot of work filming in a new location here. I think I'm just going to have to go back out into the uh, garage shop and do my thing out there. The lighting in here is just bad. Glares and whatever, hopefully not on this box anyway. But uh, let me, this is this is what I got. I'm going to get through these videos and get it done. And then uh, future videos <clears throat> will be in the garage shop. Just bear with me. Uh, just having a rough time with these uh, videos. Happens. I picked up and looked and was doing some research. Uh, I didn't want a basher vehicle. Uh, I'd go out there to the skate parks and just concrete cowboy kind of thing. Uh, it's not my style. I'm more of a, a four-wheel drive, trail, mud truck kind of dude. So I'm gonna start out with, uh, I wanted to start out with just your basic uh, four by four, and build it the way I want to build it and at the end I can say I built this badass RC 4x4 trail mud truck is the end game for this project so I picked up the Armor Granite 4x4 Mega it's got a 550 Mega 550 turn or uh, 550 mega motor in it, uh, 12 turn. It's a ready to run version. All you gotta do is stick uh, four AA batteries in the remote control, and you're off and flying. But this is just the basic ground starting, and I've done already done some upgrades. <clears throat> like I said, I've redone videos after videos, and I just. I'm just not happy with them. They had camera problems and ah, you stop rambling. Uh, the Armor Granite Mega 4x4 is what I got. Put everything off to the 
side here, basically yada yada yada, instruction manuals, basic tools, uh, they don't give you all the tools, and this is, they, they really could step up their game on their tools, us tool guys, you know, the pains of that stuff. Uh, in here, kind of get out of the way real quickly. They've done the, this is version 3, so they've done the, the upgrades on some, on some components. One of the upgrades is the uh, controller, from what I found out. Like I said, I've tested it out. This controller seems to be uh, fairly decent. I haven't been in the game for a while. Uh, this is an always an upgraded once uh, once you get uh, into it a little bit, upgrade your controller. Uh, this this will work. It, it works pretty decent. And yeah, that's that. Works pretty decent. Inside the other box is the uh, charger for the battery, the Nikon battery, Nikad, Nikon battery. So we got that. Let's uh, quickly move through here. Like I said, I've already ran it, tested it, and let's get it out of the box. Out the way box. I'm ready to go with this. <coughs> this is the the truck. I'm not going to be using this body. I am using a different body which I actually got today in the mail. I will not be using these tires. I got the tire, new tires in the mail today as well. I've been doing some upgrades already. Basically, this is just to, uh, hopefully it's coming out okay. This is just the basic model, ready to go, and I'm doing my own upgrades. Uh, I need to do upgrades right now? No, but we like to do uh, upgrades, you know, we buy new stuff. We like to have pride, and when I'm done with this, it's going to be how I want it. How I built it and that stuff. Four little clips, body comes off. I mean, they did a good paint scheme on on this body. It's uh, pretty cool looking, but I'm not running it. The, uh, the insides, most all of it's going to come out and get upgraded. The motor is brushed. I'm going to brushless motor. I'm going to 2S LiPo's. Steering servo is going to get changed out. Uh, gears are going to get changed out. I want more torque. I'm not going for speed. I don't. I don't need speed for what I'm doing. I'm going to need more torque. So I'm still, still kind of new. And from what I've seen, I need on the big gear. I need to go up. In the small pinning gear, I need to go down a size to get more torque. I'm not looking, this is not a uh, 100 mile an hour vehicle, it's trail, mud bog, dealios, sand, beach. Uh, what else? Uh, just upgrades, shocks in the future. I have already, uh, I'm going to put a video clip in here at some point. I don't know this video or the next video of my upgrades I did for the drive shafts. I replaced all four of the plastic drive shafts to metal right from the get-go. Easily done and yeah that's uh you see there's a leaf in it you know and when I ran it, I used my my air compressor, and there's still a leaf in there. 
little leaf, little dirt. So, and I'm going to have to super clean it again. Like I said, here's the uh, bottom. Uh, if you're going to run it in any kind of dirt and stuff, I had seen a video where they epoxied this, these holes, but I think I can just run, just run tape to help keep the dirt out of it. Just throw some tape on there, well, or duct tape. We'll see how that goes. And yeah, just uh, just to upgrade. It uh, right out of the box. It's uh, shocks are pretty decent, you know. I'm not going to be doing some small jumps, but I'm not concrete. I'm not the concrete cowboy. Oh yeah, I'm also going to get, I noticed, caster, camber, toe in, toe outs, and all that kind of nonsense. I don't know how, I don't know how critical it is with these, but they do have adjustable tie rod ends. So those will be upgraded. Like I said, this is just going to get me, uh, you're asking me, why didn't he just go ahead and buy one? You know, like I said, I'm going to have pride, I'm going to build it my way, my way, and get it done how I want it. Maybe a little more uh, expensive doing it that way, but as I said, my RC truck, my rules, my game, my build. Hey guys, uh, another good thing to have in a toolbox, everybody should have their old uh, multi-tool. This here's my Leatherman Super Tool I've had for years, years. Uh, I don't pretty much use it every day, but I do use it. But this Leatherman Tool, multi-tool, your choice. Be good to throw in your RC box. All right, talking about the uh, long two millimeter hex head. You got a feed it down the dry shaft without taking all the U-joints apart and all that. And to do that, you'll just put it in there, just guide it in there, get it in there, and then you'll know when you're on that screw head or that uh, Allen head is when the other wheel turns. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. You'll know you're on that, you're on that screw. So hopefully, this will be strong enough to get it out of there. It is uh, two millimeters, so. Got something to turn there. You know, these uh, long and flimsy ones. I'll get a, we can get a measurement on it here real quick like tape measure too in your box. Uh, so, your Allen head length needs to be at least three, three inches, three and a quarter would probably be ideal. Three inches, three inches, three and a quarter, somewhere in there. You don't need a super long one, which this is. Uh, the total length on this one is probably eight inches, nine inches overall. But Allen head length, two millimeter, three inches, three and a quarter, ballpark it somewhere in there. Make sure you got room in between your other components there. Like I said, we had to get it loose. Don't have to take the U joints apart bending and all that kind of good stuff so this tool was well worth it the only time I'll need it is when I put these original axe drive shafts back in it so I just want to make it love these t-handle designs on these island wrenches need to get more of them 
sure we get that screw all the way out of there. I think it is. I think it is. Should be by now anyway. And then we give this a pull. And there it is. I don't know where the screw is, but it should be somewhere in there. Yep, there it is. It's in it. Just be careful. I don't see how you can use it, but that's definitely what I needed to do the rears with without, as I said, otherwise you'd have to just pry on these U-joints. They're coming apart. Just got a couple screwdrivers and destructions and they're come out. And I would suggest take uh, the two sides that are out, take uh, this side off. If you know what I mean, that's coming in and focus. But take the closest ones to the body off. So you can get to it, that may be just one side of the U-joint. Alright guys, we're back uh, to the future. I said, hopefully that come out. I don't know what I'm going to put in there, but what I've put in there, I don't know. Uh, I'll be back into the garage shop doing my videos out there because I'm not... I'm not happy with this. I just want to get through this and uh, get it out. I need to get a video out, so this is it. All right, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, which box to open up first? This is uh, yeah, very exciting. Uh, I don't know which. Uh, I don't know which box to open up first. Uh, what do I want to see first? Uh, how about, uh, Ugg, uh, Ugg, uh, let's go with this, I know, uh, I know this, this is tires, uh, guys, heads up, when you're ordering tires, uh, be sure you don't use any 12 inch long cutting tool to get into the D's. Because you don't know how tight or how close they uh, package your new tires and it could be quite pricey. So I got my little uh, survival tool and this one has a little uh, short cutting tool on it. Very careful. When you're when you're trying to get your box open here. Start it anyway. Open like it's a Christmas package. All right. So as I said, this is going to be a trail mud bog type truck. So I found these guys, uh, J Concepts, and they're actually 20 minutes down the road from me. I didn't realize that when I was looking at them, but uh, they're up down the road, so I'll be visiting those guys. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Jay Concepts. These are the Flame Kings 2.6. Uh, part number, part number. These are the gold compound. Uh, number 3155-05. Like I said, they're like 20 minutes down the road from me. We'll be definitely be going down there to check out what they got down there in their shop. Uh, let me get this. I just can't. Uh, that is not the price of the tires right now. 
that over there. See, be very careful when you're opening your package so you don't slice into your new tires. I really didn't want to get that close to it. But far enough away from it. My Michael Hawk survival tool stays in my wallet. Alright, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Oh! Oh, hopefully, y'all can see that. I'll get pictures and all that good jazz to put in there. But, oh my, look at the smell test. Oh, new rubber, and there are deep, let me tell you. Uh, my finger there. I've got pretty big hands, guys. And get the other one out. Now, let's see, I don't know what was center there. I can't really tell. But yeah. J Concepts 2.6 Plain Kings. Said they usually like to before you glue them to the bead or mount them to the bead. There's gold. There's a. I know you probably won't be able to see it, but there's right where my front of my finger is. There's a gold stamp, so that means they're gold. I do believe. I like them. They have inserts. Very soft and rubbery and nice, 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 nice. So there's, let me pull the uh, uh, truck over here and we'll do a little uh, size comparison a little bit. <coughs> I know they're not mounted on wheels yet, so we will see. Mud diggers, for sure. So we got the one, two. Check out these wheels. Part number 3379B. It's part numbers on these. Dragon 2.6 Mega Truck Tire. 12 millimeter hex wheel with offsets. And disc are black. J Concepts. Check them out. color you want to match your rig. It's nice. And here's the second spacers. 
four different spacers to adjust your how wide the stance you want. These are these are nice. I can tell you. Can't wait to uh, get them mounted up for you guys. King flings and the dragon wheels with a clear disc for right now. I'm gonna paint them uh, blue. So uh, let's keep roll. Let's keep rolling. Let's uh, let's roll on with this for sure. Tires, tires, wheels and wheels and wheels uh, and wheels. Let's get the other. The other box open. This here, guys. I'm just, I'm just letting it roll. I'm, I'm letting it roll because I, I don't want to get up, move the camera, all that good jazz. We're gonna just do this, and we're just gonna do this in one take. As I said, be careful when you're opening up boxes. You never know how they box this up. Very, very carefully doing that. Alrighty guys, this is the body I'm gonna run. Paperwork. Paperwork. So bear with me here. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap. It's upside down actually. Bubble wrap. Very nicely packaged. Ah, so here's the reveal. Oh wow, nice. Go ahead and get this out of here. Just uh, get that out of my way. There it is. Uh, it's rubber banded to that. Be careful of that. Bigfoot. There it is. That's the original Bigfoot body. Very nicely done. I got it already painted. I didn't want to fool around with RC paint right off the bat, but I will be getting a unpainted version and do my own paint scheme hopefully that's hopefully that's coming out coming out good for you guys like i said i'll get pictures and insert some pictures uh, it has a bigfoot license plate on it It's uh, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Comes with the KC headlights. Comes with this uh, for for the Traxxas two wheel drive. Is what it fits. Fits. So I wish they would have. Uh, I wish they would have actually left the uh, all the stickers off of it. Because I'm gonna. Restigger it the way I want. We'll find out. Yeah, so there it is, the Bigfoot body. Let's see how it's gonna. Let's see how it's gonna mount. What kind of? Whoops. What kind of adjustments I'm going to need to make here? Eh, I wish that was off. i got to cut this off. Hold on. Hold on, people. i got to cut that off. Put that out of the way for a second. So there will be some adjustments, I would imagine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there 
will be some adjusting adjustments going to have to raise going to have to raise the body mounts little modifications here and there no biggie <clears throat> so So well, there it is, that's how it's uh, going to look somewhat, somehow, but there's the Bigfoot body on the Armor Granite Mega 4x4. With the wheels, the wheels. Or the tires anyway. And these are the wheels. Probably gonna end up painting the center caps this color blue on the wheels. Oh I can't wait. So it looks like the holes are gonna be forward here. Gonna have to drill into the new body. Two holes there, and the back is going to be forward a little bit. So two two holes there, two holes around in here, and knock the tires off. All righty. That's it. Let me uh, end this video. It's probably too long that I wanted it to be, but it is what it is. I'll be doing my videos back in the garage. Sorry for, for the uh, poor lighting quality for video, but it's just been a YouTuber's nightmare. Anyhow, alrighty. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button. It doesn't cost you anything. Helps my little channel out. Follow me on my Armor Granite project mud truck. And yeah. Alrighty. I appreciate your views, your comments, and any suggestions as always. Stay safe out there, guys. and. Get into a new hobby.